Over its 22-year history, the work of the Fiji Women's Crisis Centre has earned praise both locally and throughout the region. It's very, very important uh, that we have somebody as Fiji Women's Crisis Centre backing us from behind, or going in front of us and letting us know what the experiences are in the region. When I need assistance or when I need to, them to help me to do whatever decisions, I have I always called the Fiji Women's Crisis Centre and especially Shamima and Edwina and they always supportive in helping me with my work. The journey for the Crisis Centre began amidst humble surroundings. The centre borrowed accommodation in those early years from those in the community who strongly felt there was a need for a refuge for women and children who are victims of violence. The Fiji Women's Crisis Centre, from the, right from the beginning, they have been uh, supportive of us by providing training, you know, training on counselling and advocacy for the women of Bougainville. They have been a tremendous uh, support for the women of Bougainville. I've thoroughly enjoyed the input they've had because they keep in contact with the staff that uh, they train and also keep in contact with the management of Punanga Kautura to talk about some new issues that uh, they're dealing with over here and sharing that knowledge, and that's wonderful. After strong submissions to the Government of Australia, in 1991 the centre was given the funds to purchase the property on Gordon Street, which became its home for the next 12 years. It's when we have confidence that the program or project is achieving outcomes and this is certainly one, as you can see, that, that achieves real outcomes and really makes a difference. And so we're very proud to have been sponsors for a number of years because it is making a real difference on the ground. In 2005, the centre was again successful in receiving a grant from the Government of Australia, this time to build a new centre which would provide the crisis centre's current and future needs. In November 2006, the new Women's Crisis Centre was born. Distinguished guests and friends and children, on November 11th, the new centre was officially opened at a launch ceremony. Those who have watched the Fiji Women's Crisis grow and those who have uh, known the work that has gone in inside the building from its very humble beginnings to this magnificent structure that we consider the flagship for women of this country. We look for a world where all people have the space to live and grow in dignity. To bless the building and the work that the Fiji Women's Crisis Centre performs, a prayer was offered by Reverend Sereima Loma Loma. We thank you for this beautiful day that the Crisis Centre and the supporters have looked forward to for many, many years. First of all, let me say Congratulations to you, Shamima, your staff, and the management team. On this the prayer was followed by a reflection on the regional work that the Crisis Centre provides. These comments were made by Marilyn Tahi, the coordinator of the regional group. It is a big dream come true. I recall when, uh, Shamima, you first told me about the building, you will always end your talk by saying, if I'm still alive and sit in the new office and in my office and looking out over the street. Today the Lord has allowed you to live that dream and we are here to celebrate this moment with you. Shamima Ali, the coordinator of the Fiji Women's Crisis Center, gave the next address outlining the difficult path they took before getting the funding for the new building. And the women work together towards one good, and that is the good of the women, children, and the men of Fiji. My hope is that you will all continue to support the rights of women in this country. The Women's Crisis Center will continue to work itself out of business, that is our motto. And I hope that you will all help us do this and accompany us on this journey where the destination is a world where women, men, girls and boys all enjoy their full human rights. Thank you very much. 
for very many years the Australian Government has supported the Crisis Centre in its work to reduce violence against women, both in Fiji... Because of its role in providing funds for the construction of the Fiji Women's Crisis Centre, the Australian High Commissioner, Ms Jennifer Rawson, addressed the audience on behalf of the Australian Government. Australia wants to see Fiji's economy grow and we all know that women have a very important contribution to make to economic growth and social stability. There are a few organizations. The chief guest for the opening ceremony was the Vice President of Fiji, His Excellency Ratu Choni Manraiwiwi. It has not only championed the equality, dignity and health of women, but has provided practical measures to protect them and their children against violence. I salute you for your passion and your commitment. In spite of the dark side of human nature that you confront almost daily, you are pledged to fighting that for the sake of a better future for all women and their children. Following Ratachoni's speech, the main guests joined together at the new building to cut the ribbon, officially opening the new Fiji Women's Crisis Centre. the official launch, the afternoon was filled with excitement, beginning with a special meke and song which was composed for the occasion. Entertainment for the afternoon included a play by actors from Women's Action for Change. Wow! Beautiful! Green! Oh. Think we, we can do with uh, some cash crops around here? Make this whole place worthwhile! Let's look and see. Sugar! Go! Banana! This was followed by a performance by Shirley Tangi. As we come marching, marching, we bring the greater days. The rising of the women means the rising of the race. You can bend but never break me, because it only serves to make me more determined to achieve my final You've deepened the convictions in my soul. Oh, yes, I am. Their new building will help the Women's Crisis Center better cater for the counseling needs of Fiji and their growing role as leader of advocacy and training for women's groups in the wider Pacific Islands region. I can do anything. I am strong. I am invincible. 
One of the new programs that we have embarked on regionally is the male advocacy on women's human rights. And uh, many people are very open and responsive to, to that program. So there is a great task ahead, but because of the awareness and the other women throughout the Pacific and men who are working um, in this area, I believe that uh, you know we're still on target for our goal on the elimination, you know, working towards the elimination of gender-based violence in Fiji and the Pacific. Oh, yes, I am wise, but it's wisdom born of pain. Yes, I made the prize, but look how much I gained. If I had to, I can do anything. I am strong, I am invincible. I am woman